Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can resolve the namespace in the PHP Laravel. So now the time is to work on the blade spacer. So what is blade spacer? So let's uh, go to any of the blades. So I'm going to welcome dot uh, going to welcome dot PHP blade because this is comes by default with the Laravel. Okay. So here I'm going to add the mustache sign. So let's type. Uh, shift and type mustache sign so i type this mustache sign and uh, now i want to add the space when i add the mustache sign i want to add two spaces here then i want to add the variable here right why because it's more readable by if i remove these spaces so it's not much readable so we want to make our code readable for others and for us also so how we can do this auto uh, we can do this through extension so let's click on this extension tab and here you need to search for blade spacer okay it's uh, basically laravel blade spacer so let's uh, click on install on this uh, first blade spacer so it's going to install this uh, blade space and yes now you can see this in the example that uh, you can add the space between these one so you can also add the comment and stuff like that so you can also view it again and yes that's great space then you can double then you can add one negation and do this so let's go here and now our extension is installed so if i go here and type uh, mustache sign and yes it's automatically added a space i did not edit this so let me do it again and type mustache sign and yes now it's added this space between these blades so if i go here single one then oops then negation oops i don't know what's the exact syntax for this one exact uh, negation and uh, i don't know let me go back and view its uh, extension how it's doing this so it's first space adding space then thrice then okay it's adding the same negation and then it's if i go here and type oh, like a negation oops and yes if i go back here type single mustache sign then i add a uh, negation sign and then negation sign again so it's automatically added a space between these ones and then added a very pretty one right so this is used for basically uh, readability purpose so hope you and that how we can add this in our project in our vs code so basically you can use this in any of your projects so if you install this in your vs code so it will be automatically applied on all of, all of your project which you open in the vs code so thank you for watching so i will meet you in the next one bye bye